Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a, another look at the example that we had um, with uh, least squares approximation, finding a best fitting line. And we found it was y is equal to 1 half x minus 2 thirds, given these points. Um, and uh, we, we ran a calculation to find out what this will be. Let's actually run through um, that calculation right now um, and go through that process here. So this multiplication and that multiplication to get this. Okay, so we have um, here's a, here's a transpose and Let's just use a row interpretation right here. So the first row will of the result will come from just one times the top row plus one times the middle row plus one times the bottom row. So basically just add the rows together. It's not hard. Three, zero, three, zero. Okay, then here, um, the, la the second row here is just going to be the bottom row minus that row. So it's that minus that should give you a zero there and a two there. Now you want to find the inverse of this. Now, we can do this a couple different ways. First of all, um, if you just did row operations, um, it's pretty simple. The two row, row operations that you need to do is multiply by a third here, multiply by a half here. Just do that to the identity matrix. Well, that's just a third or half, right? That's pretty clear. I guess, um, in general, whenever you have a diagonal matrix like this, like entries down the this diagonal right here and zeros off, then the um, the inverse is always just looking at the diagonal entries and just re taking reciprocals of third half. And I yeah, will just leave it at that. Okay, so we got our inverse, right? Okay, so um, we take AT times A and find its inverse, um, just like we have here, ATA, we find its inverse. Okay, and then we're going to multiply to that a transpose. All right, on this side, so we have 1, 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 1. The simplest way to do this multiplication is a row interpretation. So like, because it's 1 third times that row plus 0 times that row. So just 1 third times that row, yeah. and that gives you third, 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 and then just 1 half times that row right there. So 0 minus a half, so a half times that row. Okay, and then half. Okay, good. And then what do we do? Then we just matrix multiply by this B here, negative 1, negative 1, 0. J. And essentially, this just means um, uh, this basically just means just add these two columns together um, and then take the negative of that. Um, uh, from here, from a column interpretation, that times that column plus that times that column plus that times that column. So doing so, that's how we get the negative two thirds um, and one half, which gives us the line y is equal to one half x minus two thirds, which is the best fit for those lines, for those, for those points. Thanks for watching.